everyone welcome to part 46 of la Rava 10 series and we are first creating the e-commerce admin panel and we are working on the products module in the last few videos we able to insert the products we able to first create the products table with the help of migration then we able to insert the products with the help of theater and we also done the product update product columns update with the help of migration as well okay so now in this video we are going to show the products in the enemy panel with the active inactive and delete functionality so let's start so first of all we are going to create the products controller okay so i am going to run the command here php artisan make controller and i am going to insert inside the admin okay uh, we are going to insert inside the admin and i am going to uh, make it like uh, products controller here in admin products controller okay i'm going to see uh, it has been created or not i'm going to close the earlier files okay and i'm going to open here products controller uh, sorry uh, i think the wrong i have done the wrong way admin slash i have put the wrong slash uh, this one okay admin slash press controller now i'm going to open uh, press controller here and now it's fine okay uh, press controller and the that file I'm going to remove Zamp at the docs and in the project 10 folder app app SGP controllers and this file I'm going to remove okay so we have the file under admin press controller okay so now it's fine okay so now first of all i'm going to create the route for the products in web.php file uh, i'm going to create the route like we have earlier created for categories now i'm going to create for products route and here i'm going to create the get route for products and i'm going to add here products controller and I'm going to I'm going to create the press function in press controller. I'm going to open the press controller now. Okay, so here I'm going to create the uh, products function. Okay, so we will get all the products in the products variable. Here I'm going to use the product model. Uh, we're going to use here get and here see. I'm going to. Uh, add the product model here Oops. app models product okay so uh, like we have done with the category controller i am going to do in the same way uh, okay we are using here the get so i'm going to use the get here and in the categories blade file as well uh, we can see that uh, uh, here we have converted it to array okay so I'm going to see that we have converted it to array. So we are going to convert it to array as well. Uh, get to array. Okay. So once uh, we have got all the products, then we are going to return. I'm going to create the new folder under admin. I'm going to create the admin uh, this products folder under admin admin products and under products folder. I'm going to create the blade file products dot blade dot php file and I'm going to return this array products array. Uh, okay, to that file. Okay, so uh, I'm going to open the uh, here the folder. Okay, I will go back and we'll open the resources, views, admin, and here I'm going to add the uh, new folder products. Okay, and I'm going to add the new file inside it. Okay, new test file. I'm going to add. Okay, here I will add. Uh, any file okay is going to save and will rename it to product.blade.php file okay like this uh, we are going to use php okay products.blade.php file now the file has been created i'm going to copy everything from categories uh, so that we will get the complete admin view okay no need to create again from scratch then i can uh, simply rename like uh, I can rename the categories to products and uh, I can also uh, do here like uh, from categories to products here as well okay so uh, right now we can uh, simply uh, see products module we can uh, simply remove the products module right now okay 
because uh, this one we will do it later on okay and other things we are going to modify here so here see i am going to add few simple columns here we are to show like id after id product name okay after product name we are going to show the product code then product color okay so after that uh, uh, simply status also we can show here okay so here, uh, here we are going to make it product as well everywhere okay so now here uh, we are going to add product id then product name it's fine after that uh, we are going to have the product code and color as well product code and color product code then product color only the main field we are going to add for now after that we are going to remove this one is not required at all and we will also remove the assess like roles and permission kind of thing that we are going to use later on okay so these we are going to remove for now okay so uh, and also in the layout.blade uh, file i am going to use the dart table for the product so we are going to add uh, here dart table for products as well So I will try here in admin panel. I'm going to click on products and we'll see the uh, if we can able to fetch the products. Okay, click OK and click on products here. Okay, so yes, we can able to fetch the products here as well. See in action we have not added anything uh, for now. See all these will come under action and here mm, the as far as the status is concerned. Uh, we can remove and put them in action okay we can do it like this okay see product name product code product color dart table is working fine we can see we can search like red so only the red result uh, red t-shirt comes and if we will search with blue then instantly it will show the blue t-shirt okay dart table is working fine and here now uh, now we will uh, work on this uh, active inactive and delete okay and for this we can take help from the category module okay so it will save our time like uh, for uh, for updating the status we can copy this one and for deleting the category that is having the comma jquery function we can copy this one okay then we can make the changes it will we can finish it in just a uh, few minutes okay uh, update product status delete product and here we're going to add here the uh, press controller and here we are going to make update product status and lead product okay okay so our routes are ready after that like uh, we have uh, these two update category status and lead category i'm going to copy this one and we'll add under press controller and here then here i'm going to make it like uh, uh, we are going to add here the product update product status and other than this this category here we are going to modify it with the product okay this is for updating the status of the product if the product is active we will make it inactive if the product is active if product is inactive then we will make it active okay and this one is for deleting the product okay so both the functions are ready so we will uh, now check the custom.js and here we are going to modify the status like we are updating we have updated the category status we are going to update the product status as well here update product status here also we are going to modify this one uh, product status and we are going to modify these as well product so now we are going to try here i'm going to refresh here and we'll see like if i will make them inactive i can make them inactive instantly and you can see i can refresh and still it is inactive okay so we can instantly make them active or inactive okay so it's working fine and also if we want to delete 
like if i want to delete this one see this sweet lot is working fine okay this we have earlier inserted uh, common uh, it is common for all the modules okay uh, so just the thing is that we are passing here in the products blade file here you can see that we are passing here confirm lead class and lead product uh, record and record id record is the module name like in the categories we are using the category here and in the products module we are using the product here and here we are just sending that uh, product id so just the module id we are sending like uh, whatever it is like if it is product if it is category then just we are uh, going to send the id record id okay record as well as the record id in the custom dot js that is having the common uh, uh, delete suite alert function that we have generated earlier in the series to delete anything from so the main purpose is to make it uh, see we have added the common function okay for all okay so now uh, we are going to try let's uh, click on cancel so it will not do anything if we click on yes delete it then it's going to delete yes product deleted successfully so we able to uh, add this active inactive as well as the delete functionality and in the next video we'll start working on the add product functionality and uh, no uh, in the next video we are going to show the category as well as its main category okay so that is important see this product belongs to which category which subcategory which parent category so that is important so that thing we are going to show here after that we are going to start working on the add edit product functionality okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye